At a U.S. federal court in Boston, Massachusetts, proceedings are underway in the trial of 21-year-old Boston Marathon bombing suspect Johor Sarnayev. He faces 30 charges in the killing of three people and injuring of 260 others with homemade bombs at the race's crowded finish line in 2013. And joining me right now is VOA service reporter who knows the story pretty well, Fatima Tlisova. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Please give us a recap. What happened on that day? Well, we all know that um, marathon bo Boston Marathon is the most beloved sport event in um, Massachusetts and it's the oldest marathon in the world. So people gathered at the finish line on Boston Street and the whole ce celebration turned in the, into horror after two bombs went off uh, during the, um, um, the event, the celebration. Do we have an, any idea what kind of defense he's going to put up? Because he's going to have a pretty tough trial, Shahar. Well, we do actually. Judging from all the papers, there is a storm of uh, uh, papers that the defense submits to the court every day. And according to those documents, we see that the defense is trying to get the jury uh, to sympathize uh, with Jahar probably uh, get them, um, you know, feel some kind of empathy to him so he's not going to be sentenced to death. Their main uh, arguments are uh, his um, ethnic background as a Chechen and Chechnya suffered a long, long hundred years of oppression and his family dynamics. Uh, and also, of course, uh, the main point would be probably the um, uh, brothers, his brother's Tamerlan's influence on him, his uh, young age, and, um, and they also argued that the father, Anzor, was uh, suffering from PTSD, which actually affected the deterioration of the family and the um, radicalization of the brothers. Has there been any reaction from the Chechen rebels with regards to the trial right now? Well, the Chechen rebels actually did not um, publicly make any statements regarding this trial. Uh, as for the Chechen community who uh, live back in the Caucasus, they believe that this was uh, organized by the uh, combined efforts of the Americans and the Russians, and the brothers were framed. Most of the people there believe that. Uh, but if we talk about uh, the Chechens who live in the United States, those who knew Johar and Tamerlan closely, they are, uh, according to what they told me, they are devastated. They feel betrayed by the brothers. They think that this uh, event, this horrible uh, thing that um, allegedly these brothers did, uh, it affected the whole Chechen community and their reputation and their future. They think that um, now the people in the United States are not going to trust them anymore and the peaceful and um, um, the peaceful life they enjoyed here, the sense of stability they got here, prosperity, it's gone. That's their feeling. That's what they told me. We are Russian service reporter Fatima Tlesova. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It was a pleasure.